and welcome to Dr. Mix! Today I'm going to reconstruct one of my favorite songs of all time, Chariots of Fire by Evangelis. I'm going to analyze this track really deeply and I suggest you use headphones. I'm gonna use III, the kind sponsors of today's video. These are my favorite headphones. Look, Alcantara pads. They sit on your head really nicely and you can remove the cable pack and go wireless. Super high quality, lossless audio, very low latency. Let's plug it in. And now I can go from synthesizer to synthesizer without a cable pulling my head. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Also, big thumbs up. Yes. That helps a lot and doesn't cost you anything. Thank you. Chair of fire. How you doing, Lou? I'm well. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's listen to this masterpiece. Yes. I always have to think of uh, Mr. Bean when I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. CS80, we know that? All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. All right, so we have a few elements here. We've got the ch -ch 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 -ch, which is, I think, what we should do first, right? That ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm. And then we have, of course, the piano, which is gonna be last. We have that CS80 one, we have the pads, and we have some stuff that comes in sometimes. <laughs> How about if we use, I mean, he would have probably used the mug, right? Mm -hmm. So let's use the mug. Let's do it. Let's go. White noise percussion thingy. Obviously, we need a noise for this. How about if I turn off the oscillator and turn on the noise? There you go. Pretty straightforward. I mean... Louis, can we please have some MIDI? Because, you know, I got yeah. this here. You know, this transforms MIDI to CV. And if we can just have like eight notes. Okay, go. Can you make them a bit shorter? Yeah. I think this is fine. Can we listen to the original one? I think I can work it out with a bit of decay. There's a little bit of closing and opening of that filter. Let's do it. I think this is fine, right? That's good. Yeah, these two are, are good. Let's go with those two. Maybe there is some reverb or delay on the original one? By the way, if you want to know how I figure out all of the stuff, I have a course where I explain everything in great detail. Check out my video course, Music Producer Gold Guide. I explain everything about music, harmony, arrangement, production, mixing and mastering, but also what it takes to be a producer in 2023 and the future. Next, monophonic sequencer bit. For the Mr. Bean sound, <laughs> we're going to use the Juno 6. Can we please play it for just a sec? All right, probably. Pretty simple. In fact, you know what? Can you please run the sequence and I'm gonna try and use the arpeggiator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds pretty right, yeah? Can we compare? Okay. Just a little bit of variation, you know? Just to give it a little bit of life. Cool. French horn synthesizer. Doo -doo. 
All right, let's listen to the original for a second. Oh, this is the CS80, isn't it? So I have various options to replicate the sound, but there is one synthesizer that does it straight out of the box. The Hydrosynth, right there. All I need to do is select Blade Titles. Let's record that. <laughs> Maybe we could use some extra power from Prophet 5. Yeah. Prophet 5! Prophet 5. No, I think we need a bit of uh, attack. Release. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's double it up. Next! Big fat pad. So clearly, this song has a lot of pad. Chances are that uh, Vangelis used uh, the CS80 for this as well. You know, it sounds like a pretty basic sawtooth. There is a little bit of Solina, maybe inside of it, or something like an eminent kind of thing, or maybe it's just a flanger. I'm not sure. But I'm going to start with a basic Juno 106 pad. Bit of tack. <laughs> Maybe a bit less envelope. We're gonna use chorus number one. I prefer it. Straightforward. Shall we record? Yeah. Good. By the way, what song would you like me to recreate next? Let me know in the comments here below! NEXT! ARRANGEMENT! So this is the section of the video where I finished the entire arrangement because so far we worked out the sounds, we found parts, the main parts, but now it's a case that we have to finish the entire thing, right? Also I'm gonna make this multi-track available to you. I'm gonna leave a link right here and one in the description so that you can play with this multitrack and have fun yourself. And usually, I know that it takes a few hours sometimes, so what I am going to do on this occasion, I am going to fast forward right now, but then you can watch the entire thing as part of the multitrack, and that's unedited. You can watch the entire process of how I do it, bit by bit, and I know that some of you really enjoy that. You know, by, by the time you get to this point of depth, you won't be able to tell the difference. Uh, it, it can be interminable. Basically, you can polish it, polish it, polish it, polish it, uh, until you make it exactly the same. All it requires is time and a good pair of headphones. All right. Aye, aye, aye.
Ah, ay, ay, ay. I say next the piano. We have arrived at that point where I am going to play this part on the piano. But before I do that, go check out III's headphones. These are amazing. They support this channel. Give them some love. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. And now, let's play Chariots of Fire, shall we? Let's go.